with the ladies. Quickly, Tremper now being able to get the tip. They move on the other side. They're going to look and quickly score. That was number 22, Gordon. 2 0 Tremper. Good defense and the quick rebound by Clements. Quickly in. Can't make anything happen, but Clements goes up and, dra and gets the foul. So Tremper with a quick four, possibly five zero. Trem uh, Clements going to the line. Brooke Clements is a forward, just a junior at five foot 11. Number 14, if you're keeping track. Shoots left-handed, balls up. That's good, it's a 5-0 lead, Tremper. Indian Trail looks to take it over as now full court press. Tremper wants to be able to stop, coming across, good job throwing over for the Lady Hawks. Moving the ball, top of the key. Trying to find the cutter, good movement, three point land, off the iron, and over the back foul. So we're gonna have the first foul of the game. It's gonna be against number three from Indian Trail, that's Cornell. Five foot seven senior. First foul, second team foul is Boy it's showing. I'm sorry, it's going to be against number 30. That's what I thought, that was Johnson and the second team foul. Quickly to the big lady, can't make it. That would be 14 Clements. Little too hard, rebounded, Indian Trail. That was rebounded by number 12, Stelfer. Lady Hawks looking to be able to move the ball around the horn, near side. To the top of the key, almost loses it. That's number 24, Williams. Williams to 30, Johnson. Johnson drives, puts the ball up, drew the foul, but can't get the bucket. Johnson's gonna go to the line on that one with contact. And I believe that's gonna be against number 22, Gordon. And it is. First foul for her, first team foul. And it's gonna send Johnson to the line. Good shooter, shoots left-handed, balls up. Book it, nothing but net. No good, so it's a 5-1 score if you're just joining us. 5-1, Tremper ball, as they're gonna look to inbound it. 16-22 left first half. Tremper looks to kick out. That's long, that was an air ball. And we see... As that was a turnover, said they walked, traveling. And Tremper's gonna take that ball at half court. 5-1 lead, Kenosha Tremper. Looking to inbound it. And we're gonna see a foul. That foul, I believe, is gonna be on number three, Cornell. It is, it's the team's third, her second. That was not a shooting foul, and they are not in bonus. So Tremper's gonna inbound it, that's Pacetti. Pasetti inbounds it to 40, Kazakowski. Kazankowski has it deep, NBA three style right now. She looks to drive, kicks it outside to 32, Jankowski, and travels. Megan Kazanowalski with the travel. Indian Trail looks again to be able to take it across, but Tremper hounds him with a full court press. Doing a good job moving the ball. Indian Trail, no good, 
but draws the foul. 5-1, Tremper up by four, 15-40 left first half, so we're newly underway here. And good. So it's a 5-2 lead back to a one possession game. Tremper with a five point lead to begin with. Indian Trail getting back into this game. No good, so 5-2. Indian Trail down by three. Tremper looks to be able to move the ball. They like to be able to move it and drive. Up and no good by Pacetti. Good defense. Pacetti living in the land of the Giants there. Only five foot four inches. Caused her a problem on that one. Ball's up and book it. We've got a tie game. 5-5, five, five, 15, uh, 15 minutes coming up on. So tie game here at Tremper Auditorium in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The Lady Trojans looking for the shot. There's Pacetti. She's a three-pointer, not making that one. Still tied at five. Indian Trail looks, drives, puts the ball up. No good. Rebounded by number 14, Clements. Clements to Pacetti. Pacetti overlays it, no good. Ball taken by Johnson. Johnson's gonna put it up. She passes it off. And number five, Winslow. And Indian Trail takes the first lead of the game. Kazankowski, little bit of a pick. Tremper looks to move the ball into the paint. Good save by Clements. Puts it up, can't get it, reloads. He's got a tie game at seven. <laughs> Clements using height and physicality did not mind throwing the elbow to be able to get her rebound and put it up on the reload. Now a little bit a problem getting across. Abel Johnson, beautiful moves, fall away jumper. <laughs> Indian Trail up by four, 11 to seven. Now comes across. She's looking for a spot. That would be number 10 for meter. 
Parmentier. Parmentier loses it. Taken all the way down by, I believe, out of bounds. And a potential foul. Ball's going to stay with Tremper. Inbounds it to Pacetti. Three-pointer, no good. And taken on the rebound. Ian Trail up quickly by four. And Indian Trail's on an 11-2 run after Tr Tremper went up 5-0. 11-7, 12-32 left to play. First half. And in beautiful job by number 14, Clements. Working her way inside, into the paint, putting it up uncontested over everybody. And book it, we've got a two-point game. Indian Trail moving it as we see 14 Jacobs. She went to drive, couldn't handle it, out of bounds, but off of Kenosha Tremper. So we're going to see Indian Trail being able to reload on the kick out from under the basket. comes across. Remember, two-point game now. Box out. The big lady, number 14, Clements, and she's fouled. They're gonna say out of bounds. So no foul, but it's gonna go over to Indian Trail. Indian Trail with a two-point lead, 11 to nine. doing a good job and out of bounds. They had the spot in the paint. They're gonna say that it went off of 14 Clements, so Indian Trail's gonna keep that. I don't know exactly if I agree with that one. Moving the ball, Indian Trail far side now. Looking for that spot, ball in, no good. That's gonna be a timeout. 11-17 left in the first half. The score would be Indian Trail 11 and Kenosha Trimper 9. WGTD Sports. Good evening everybody, I'm Bob Haggerty. Thrilled to bring you this game tonight. Actually, a double header. Don't go anywhere, because the boys are gonna be following. Now, how is this going to work? It's going to be on a different screen. What does that mean? It means that what you're watching will end, and in a few minutes, you're gonna be able to sign in, or you're going to get a little idea. If you like WGTD, you'll actually get a little notification that the next game is going to start. You click on that link, Guess what? Hey, life is good, and you're gonna be able to watch the boys game. Indian Trail up by two on the inbound. Kick it near side. Good defense by Tremper, and good ball movement. Indian Trail doing well, as you see her move the ball around. That's 14 Jacobson. Now that's on the steal, but they're gonna say that ball going out of bounds, and Indian Trail's going to keep it. They're up by two, 11 to nine. Over to number five, Winslow. Back to Jacobson. To Winslow. She's in the corner. Three-pointer. No good. And that's going to be rebounded by number two, Vasquez. And there's the foul. So Vasquez with the foul. That's going to be the fifth team foul and it's going to be the fourth of the first on Jacobson. So number 32 Janskowitz is going to inbound it to 40 Jeninkowski or Tannenkowski. Kicks it out 
to Vasquez, no good. And that rebound is going to be taken by Indian Trail. Number 24, Williams, and to the floor. A lot of physical physicality so far tonight. Indian Trail able to kick it in, and there's some physicality right there. See where they call it. They're going to call that, I believe, that's going to be the fifth foul on Kenosha Trimper. And it's going to be the first on the little lady, Pacetti. Or first on Pacetti. Can't handle the pass out of bounds. Indian Trails ball. So we're going to have a 14 Jacobson looking to inbound. Quickly to number five Winslow. Winslow gets back across the timeline. A little bit of a pick. Nice move to 30 Johnson. Back to number five Winslow. That kicks it out to Jacobson and out of bounds. They're going to call that a foul on Kenosha Tremper. Number 40 Madison Kesanowski. That's her second, team sixth. So now we're gonna go into bonus. If there's anything more from Kenosha Tremper. 10 minutes left to play, first half. It's an 11-9 game. No scores in the last two and a half minutes to play. Ball up, book it. Indian Trail, that's number five, Winslow. Nothing but net, pop. And they've got a three point, they've got a five point lead. 14-9. Indian Trail up by the nickel. 9.37 left. Indian Trail back on the rebound. That was number five, Winslow. She just had the tray. Moving the ball around well. Winslow with the air ball. So she was able to nail that tray, nothing but net, came around with the air ball on the second opportunity. Tremper now rotating some players back in, including number 14, Clements. Vasquez comes out. So Pacetti, good ball handler, comes across the timeline. Far side, looking for the shot. She's a three-point specialist. Puts it into the big girl, Clements. Up and in. Nice job. A good pass from Pacetti. Really setting Clements up as she went up and over off the boards. And we have a one-possession game. 14-11, Indian Trail up by the tread. Johnson with the ball. Ball up, no good. Take it on the rebound by Indian Trail 22, Gordon. Over to Pacetti. Pacetti looking for the opportunity. Contact, but no foul. Pacetti top of the key. She's gonna reset it. It's a one possession game, 14-11, Indian Trail up by the tray. Pacetti's being very patient, and Indian Trail's not coming out. They're gonna stay at the arc. Pacetti drives, kicks it out. Over to Gordon. Gordon kicks it to Clements. Too high, no good, rebounded Indian Trail. Big, high, strong rebound. Out of number 20, that's Peltier. 
and a jump ball. That was all number 32, Jankowski, getting her hands on that ball. Watch here as Jankowski, oh, and number 21, Kerrickson, really came in and tied that ball up. Couldn't see that from my angle. Great shot on the instant replay. Clements, good handling for the big lady. She likes to be in the paint, she's a good one. Pacetti looking for something, she drives. Ball's up, no good, and another rebound. So still that one possession game, 14-11. Indian Trail with a couple of trays that's helped them out. That was just a beautiful move, couldn't make it drop. Gordon with the... Gordon with the rebound, kicking it outside and draws the foul. Watch this. Now we're gonna see the foul on Pacetti right there. Can't happen on the contact and it's gonna send Pacetti to the line. Ball's up, big arc. Man, that... That almost touches the, the top of the gym. Pacetti with a huge arc and drop in. And it's a two point game. Pacetti can make it one right here. Watch the arc this little lady has on this ball. Whoosh. In and out. Clements can't get it as we have Johnson from Indian Trail on the rebound. Kicks that over to number five, Winslow. Top of the key to Pelmentier. Back to Johnson, to Pelmentier. To number 24, Williams. Williams drives, kicks it to Johnson. Johnson loses it. Picked up by number 32, Jankowski. Quick transition for Kenosha Tremper. Clements puts it over to 21, Keckerson. Can't make it happen. Johnson on the rebound. She's gonna stop and slow this up. Two-point game, 6-10 left in the half. 14-12. Indian Trail up by the Deuce. Ball's up, no good. Indian Trail can't get to it. Number 22, Gordon with a nice rebound, strong. Kicks it to the far side. Pacetti. She thought about the long tray, pulled it down. She's moving, drives, falls in, no good. Indian Trail with the rebound. Again, a quick transition. Both these teams will run and gun. Balls up, book it. That's number five. Number five, Winslow. And it makes it a five point game on the tray. She has three trays, nine points tonight. Winslow with all three three-pointers for Indian Trail. In and out, and they're gonna call that, they're gonna call that a charge. Watch this, right? Oh, I don't know about that one, guys. Yeah, here's another look at it. Pacetti going in for the shot. Everybody was moving. But the referees were there. They had good vantage points. Indian Trail up by the nickel. Five minutes left in the half. Indian Trail moving the ball well. They've had three three-pointers. That's helped. Yeah, no good. A lot of contact. Yeah, that over and back maybe. Watch on the shot and over. I believe it's gonna be on Indian Trail number 12, Stouffer. Gonna see what they, no, they're gonna call that on Kenosha Tremper. It's gonna be the eighth team foul and it's gonna be the second foul on Pacetti. Number 12 at the line, Stouffer at the line. She shoots right-handed. Ball's up, big arc. 
no good. Indian tr uh, rebound to Kenosha Trimper. That was number 20, Carmen, on the rebound. Trimper just can't get anything to fall. And that's gonna be a jump ball. Elbows going on. Now watch it, as I think they're gonna call a, watch the elbows. They may have, yeah, they're gonna call her on the elbows there. That's gonna be the eighth team foul. It's gonna be the first on number 21, Keckerson. Nice job fighting for that ball, number 20, Carmen. With a shot, we're going to see a penalty. So both teams, that's gonna be the seventh team foul, the second for number 24, Williams. Balls up, no good. That was on Ken Zawowski. Out of bounds, Trumper's gonna keep it. Gordon needs the inbound and does. To Ken Zawowski, right there, kicks it back out. Gordon with the shot, no good. Indian Trail tries to get it, ball out of bounds. Clements going down to the court, just can't quite get a lot of effort. It's a five point game, 17-12, 4.05 left to play in the first half. Number 14, Clements, on the rebound, takes it across the timeline. Kicks it back to Ken Zawowski. Number 21, Keckerson, can't get it to foul, but to fall that time, but Carmen able to clean it up and it drops, it's a three point game. Andrew the foul. Carmen draws the foul. And that's going to put number 24, Williams, to the line. Williams, a senior at five foot 10, no good. Keeps it a one possession game, 17-14. 3.22 left in the first. Williams, second opportunity. Balls up, no good. Rebounded, 40, that's Kenza, Kenzawowski. To Gordon, short, and the foul. So Carmen gets fouled, able to get the shot up the time of getting fouled. They just put the points on the wrong person, on the wrong team. Balls up. No good. So it's a one point game and out of bounds. Nice job by Number 23, Williams, Jasmine Williams in the game, knocking that ball away. Three oh five left in the half, one point game, 17-16. Indian Trail looking the inbound. Far side, top of the key. They have no problem waiting for Johnson. Great ball handler and this lady can shoot. Now to the three-point specialist, Winslow. Winslow throws over to Jacobson. Ball up by Johnson, good block. But the 
Lady's able to get it. Now taken away. And out of bounds. Trumper number 20, a junior, Carmen, just not able to handle it on the rebound. Nice physicality on Indian Trail. So now the ball back in Indian Trail. They're up by one. Three pointer, book it. Now they're gonna say her foot was on the line. So it stays a one possession game. 19-16. Indian Trail up by the tray. And out of bounds. So Trumper not able to handle that pass, but they think it they're saying that it went off of number 30 Johnson. They're gonna look inbound. Trumper's ball, and that one was taken away. Clements, and they're gonna call a jump. Jump ball, possession, Kenosha Trumper. They need to inbound it quickly, they're able to do it. Clements took that ball low, couldn't get it in, but that was a nice job by number 20, Carmen, going down and getting it. Watch this. Now the ball goes down, and Carmen is fouled. And I believe that's going to be on number 30, Johnson. It's going to be her second, the team's ninth. So Carmen at the line, shoots left-handed, balls up, no good. Trumper having a little bit of problem from the charity strike tonight. And no good, but Trumper's gonna get that rebound. A lot of effort. Clements to Gordon. Gordon. And they're going to say there was a foul away from the ball, I'm sure. No foul. Somebody out of bounds or touching something. It's going to be a turnover. As Indian Trail up by a tray, 138 left to play in the half. And the foul. I believe that's on Carmen. And that's going to be double bonus. We'll put number five, Winslow, at the line. Winslow is a good shooter. Ball up. No good. Wholesale substitutions. So it's a two possession game now, 20 to 16. Indian Trail up by four. Trumper takes it across the timeline. They need to be patient. This is a big possession going into halftime. Gordon to Clements. Clements back to Gordon and a travel. That's not what they wanted to do. Down by four, 106 left in the half. Indian Trail with the ball. Tremper with the takeaway. And the foul. Uh, 
and good. So Trimper, Kazanowski, as we see all the students. Oh, I was just reminded, yes, everybody wearing all the, the, the Kobe, the, the tragedy for really one of the, the greatest players in the, the history of the game. With that shot, it makes it back to a one possession game. That's gonna be a foul on number 10, Pelmentier. That's a technical. Are they gonna shoot two more? up and good. So it's just that one shot and it's a one possession game 20 to 18. Inbounding it, take away would be Vasquez. Vasquez to Gordon, Gordon far side to Pacetti. Just short, she has not been on tonight. She's a better shooter than that. And out of bounds. Trumper should keep possession and does. Gordon's gonna inbound it. Looking to be able to inbound and does. To Vasquez, Vasquez, sky hook. We have a, out of the little lady, five foot two inches, puts the sky hook up, we're tied at 20. So quickly now, Indian Trail crosses over, looking for the shot. 15 seconds in the half. Looking for the opportunity. Three. Ball up, short. So, going into halftime here at Kenosha Tremper and Indian Trail. We're tied at 20. WGTD Sports. That is as good as it gets. Both these teams coming in, trying to find, this is early in, uh, well, really mid-season. So if you look at it, it was uh, a good game and a good way to end for Kenosha Tremper in the first half. Let's go to commercial, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, WGTD Sports. They washed your windows, pumped your gas, heck, they even checked your oil. They called it full service. Well, that is how Grandpa Lou started this business. And 65 years later, we are bringing back a new version of full service. That's right. You can pull up to one of our gas pumps, call us, and we will come out and pump your gas. Not only will our team come pump your gas, we will even shop for you. We may not wash windows or check oil anymore, but we will make your life easier by filling your tank, grabbing you a gallon of milk, a pack of smokes, and even a little sweet treat to calm those crazy kids down in the back seat. We will happily grab you anything we sell, except beer and liquor. So whether you're elderly, disabled, got kids in the car, or just don't want to get out in the cold, let us do the work for you. We're not going to charge you any extra for this service, but tips are always welcome. Come on down to Loop Farini's. We're bringing convenience to a whole new level. Twenty twenty game, Indian Trail and Kenosha Trimper. And right now, I want to be able to talk to a buddy of mine here. That's Greg Glish from uh, Festival Foods. And I look down because. 
I use I, I'm at your place like three times a week. I don't live too far from uh, from festival. First of all, thank you. Thank you for coming. And you know, you wouldn't be watching this without sponsors like Festival Foods. We want to say thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, and Festival Foods has a as a reputation in Kenosha for being involved in the community. Where did that come from? What got you involved in sports in general? work at our stores that play in the, in the schools and on the teams. Uh, so we take a lot of pride in that, having those associates work in our stores. And, uh, it's also a really awesome way for us to get involved in local community schools that it's family oriented, it's uh, large gatherings, it's, it's people having fun. And that's really the big thing for us is just getting families together, getting people involved. And uh, that's why we really kind of adhere to the sports. So let's talk a little bit about what you offer. Uh, you've got a butcher. You've got beautiful meat. Thank you. Uh, I love the steaks. Uh, but you also have a bakery. Yep. My, my youngest daughter is a sushi fan that, that, that you have. Uh, you've got a, a, a number of uh, a seafood options. Tell us about, about what you're offering and, and where that comes with festival. Sure. Um, you mentioned bakery. The Probably one of the more unique things in our store, actually, is our bakery. Um, we are a scratch bakery. About 85% of our items we actually make in-store from flour, water. Yeast. Really? Um, yeah, so very different in a, a commercial grocery retail environment. Um, so, I mean, that's a pretty big, unique thing for us. Uh, it allows us to really see that product from okay. scratch to finish. Sure. So. Good deal. And, you know, I, I look at it in... I always like to see all the different salads that you make. You can go and pick it. Uh, and it's so much better than a box because yeah. you guys actually make it. It's all fresh. Yeah. Yeah, our delis do a, a fantastic job, and a lot of those salads we make in-house as well. Um, we have a lot of – our deli is really focused around simple and easy. Uh, we have a lot of items that you can come in. We call them heat neat. Just grab them and go. It's – Five minutes in a microwave. Um, or rotisser rotisserated chicken. Yep. Yeah. You grab that ready to go home and pair it with a salad from our produce department. You've got a full meal on board. So Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You also have some items that are uh, that you can't find other places. Uh, if you, m My wife is gluten-free. You have a whole aisle if you have those type of, of dietary restrictions that people can find things. Yeah, we love to cater to those individuals. Um, our natural and organic manager is always bringing in new items. That's a very trendy department. Um, so new things come out. So they're always uh, investigating and looking and, and really finding what's new and bringing those items in. And she takes a lot of guest requests as well. Um, you know, people see this out there. We don't carry it yet. She'll bring it in, call them, tell them, hey, we have this item in now, and they'll come in and buy it. So The other, the other thing that I like about Festival is your produce. To me, produce has to be fresh, yeah. and it has to be good quality. First of all, your produce area is huge. Second of all, fresh, good quality. You know, you smell it, and an, a peach smells like a peach. And in today's world, that's hard to come by. Yeah, I mean, you're, you nailed it when you said fresh. I mean, nobody wants to come into a produce department that yeah. isn't fresh. And um, we work with a, a, a wholesaler, our main wholesaler, and, and they're fantastic. I mean, they're they have the same uh, philosophy as us. Is it's got to be fresh. So, I mean, they, they really make it happen for us. Um, and then we rely on our teams in store to, to rotate it, keep it fresh, and only put out the good items. And uh, we definitely take a lot of pride in produce. And one of our probably our biggest items in the last year is uh, family-sized salads. Uh, we make them in-house in our fresh cut department. Um, those have really taken off. It's, it feeds a family of four, you know, for when you bring home your sushi or your uh, yeah. ready-to-heat meals. So. Yeah. There you go. Come back and see us again. Yeah, it's fantastic. Stop over Festival Foods, fresh, easy. Oh, I, I should tell everybody that there's now a way you can call, and they'll have everything ready for you, all bagged up. All you have to do is pick it up. Yeah, it's our, not call, but click and go online. Click and go. Um, there you go. Yeah, so we're... 
Festival Foods is really, we're really centered on guest service. And so Click and Go is a little bit different of an environment for us, but we really take that in-store uh, guest service to Click and Go. Um, we're going to make sure that we pick your order with care. You know, again, back to produce, picking the freshest items um, and getting those delivered to your car with a smile and, and, and that service that you would get inside. Really easy. Go online at festfoods.com. Um, you can go and basically put together an order and you place it. Um, your first order, three orders are free, and after that they're $4.99. Um, okay. So get you started, get you some free orders, try out the service. Uh, it's gone really well for us. So, Neat idea. And, uh, you know, if you're looking to save time, uh, my wife and I are always scrambling. When do we have time to go grocery shopping? That's a great thing. Yeah, it's a huge time saver. People really enjoy it. It's doing well for us. Thank you so much for stopping in. Stop by Festival Foods. They're one of the reasons why you, why we're here tonight. Without them, we couldn't be, as well as the rest of our sponsors. We'll be right back. Let's go to commercial 2020 Indian Trail and Tremper. Be right back. Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you. We understand you. We are you. Bring your ambition to Gateway and we'll supply the world-class training. Our facilities and programs are state-of-the-art and our staff are experts in their fields. We're the number one choice for those who want to be a part of something more. Put your ambition into motion at Gateway. We at Festival Foods promise to be a good neighbor. We promise to provide for your family with food that's unequaled in quality, to bring you grade A produce, top grade meat and seafood, and a better selection of products at a better price. We promise to deliver freshness and wholesomeness daily, to serve this community and support Wisconsin in everything we do. Festival Foods. It's one thing to be voted best. It's entirely another to be voted best year after year after year after year. Hupy and Abraham, they mean business. 800 800 five. Hey guys, this is my friend Barry. Hi. Unlimited data, Barry? Ring number one in customer service by J.D. Power, Barry? Let me take your coat, you little award winner, you. Actually, that's my fur. Oh, be careful of the man's fur. Welcome back, WGTD Sports. That was fun. Get to learn all about Festival Foods as we get to talk about all of our sponsors. We'll let you know, WGTD Sports, uh, the coverage of the Indian Trail Hawks versus the Tremper Trojans brought to you by Hupy and Abraham. Celebrating 50 years of legal services, hupyandabraham.com and Gateway Technical College. Life is big, be prepared, gtc.edu. Lou Perini's Gas and Grocery. Use your Lou's Loyalty Card every Monday. The corner of Sheridan Road and 51st Street in Kenosha. And Sports Physical Therapists, your local therapy company leading the way in patient care. A longtime supporter of Kenosha Athletics, we're committed to keeping you in the game. Learn more at sptpros.com. So here we go, 2020. Just starting the second half of things, if you're just joining us. It's a good one. Tremper moving the ball. Looking for the shot, and drew the foul. So that was Gordon that drew the foul. The foul is going to be the first for Indian Trail, and it's going to be on Johnson. That's going to be her third. Ball's up. No good. Tied at 20 if you're just joining us. And good. Tremper makes that one with that, that one. Twenty-one, tre uh, 21 20 Tremper up by one. Ball out of bounds. Gordon knocking it out for Kenosha Tremper. So Indian Trail's going to keep that one.
and inbounding. Very quickly now, Pacetti takes it across the timeline. Tremper continues to move. Pacetti drives, kicks it back out to Gordon. Gordon drives to the far side. Everybody looking for the shot and draws the foul. And I believe that's going to be on Indian Trail. It should be on number 12, Stouffer. It is. It's a second team foul. Stouffer's first. And it's going to send Kazanowski to the line. And no good. They are getting killed from the charity stripe. Tremper just not taking advantage of it tonight. Ball's up. And no good. Oh, for two again. So Indian Trail quickly across the timeline. They're down by one. Ball's up. Book it. That is Indian Trail number three, Cornell. On a two-pointer, and Indian Trail takes the lead 22-21. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I see no defeat. No defeat. I have the best. In me. In me. So I require the best. Warriors like us. We make our own. We make our own destiny. We make our own destiny. We push back in the face of adversity. We turn up the heat. Is it in you too? Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. That's a full timeout. 16.31 left in this game. Indian Trail 22. Tremper 21. Crosstown rivalry here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. If you're not from Kenosha, uh, kind of a nice weekend ahead. Supposed to be in the 30s. Last year this time, we were minus 80 to minus 100 with wind chill. Minus 50 without the wind chill last year. They were telling you not to go outside. So we'll take this. Pacetti takes it across the timeline. And she pulls it back. Pacetti kicks it outside. To Gordon. Inside. And a foul. And again, that's the same play. No, they're gonna call that a charge. That's gonna be on Tremper 22. Tremper 32, Jankowski. That's her first, the team's first of the second half. Indian Trail with the one point lead and the ball. And a foul. Let's see who they call that on. It's going to be a foul on Tremper, second team foul. That's what I thought. It's going to be on number 14, Clements. It's her first. And it's going to put number 12, Stouffer, at the line. Ball's up. No good. So Stouffer can make it a two-point game with this. Nope, but rebounded Tremper. Quick transition. See the ball at the top of the key. Three-pointer from Pacetti. Book it. <laughs> Two-point lead, Kenosha Tremper, 24-22. And that's what the young lady's known for. And if she gets hot, oof, she can make a lot of them. Ball moving around for Indian Trail, down by the deuce. Ball up and in, nice job by Winslow. As there were some hands on the ball and she was able to move away. Kenosha Tremper now dealing with that press as they're able to run through it. 
and out of bounds. So we saw a, a shot there from Gordon, but they weren't able to make anything happen. Or she wasn't. Going up for the rebound, ball knocked out of bounds. The old picket fence is the way that Tremper is lined up. You don't see that very often. Now they're going to go off. Just can't get that one to fall is number 14, Clements. 24-24, we're tied. Looking for the shot. Good defense from Tremper. Their hands up. Kicking it outside. Pacetti put it up, can't make anything happen. Clements puts it up, can't get it to fall. As rebound by 24, Williams. Ball up, foul. Winslow was fouled. See who they're gonna call that on. I think it's on number 32. That would be on Jankowski. It's the third team foul. Jankowski second. 14-25 left to play. We're tied at 24. We were tied at halftime. Good game. Looking the inbound, and they're able to. Indian Trail driving, and a foul. Coles, Kozel was fouled. Oh, not happy on that. Kozel to the line. And that's gonna be the third team foul for Kenosha Tremper, 22 Gordon. No good by Kozel, mm -hmm. but three fouls for Gordon. And she's gonna come out. Number 21, Keckerson is going to come in. Kozel, no good. And out of bounds, uh, no, Tremper's able to get it on the rebound. Tied at 24, kicks it out. Ball's up, book it. That's number 21, Keckerson. Nobody in her face, nothing but net and a three-point lead for Tremper. Coming around. Almost lost the ball, and she did. And into the crowd. So Indian Trail's gonna have the opportunity to inbound it. 13.57 left to play, three point game, 27-24. Lead for Tremper. Johnson, can't get it to fall, puts it up, is number 14, Jacobson. No good, out of bounds. Jump ball, jump ball, possession, Tremper. Trumper comes back across. And no good. Indian Trail moving the ball, looking for the shot. And out of bounds. Too strong on that shot, off the glass. Out of bounds. <laughs> 14 Clements coming out. Number 32, Jankowski coming in. Jankowski has three fouls. Inbound. Trumper coming across the timeline quickly. Can't, but they're able to reload on the board. Three-pointer, book it. And the largest lead of the game for Trumper, up by six, 30-24 on two trays. 12.58 left to play. So Indian Trail needs to start to work away on that. No good, Trumper with the rebound. 
and I believe that is number three, Pacetti, and it is. Pacetti kicks it to the far side, gets it back. She's thinking about a tray, no good. Good job by number 20, Carmen, being able to get that rebound. Oh, Pacetti thought about it. Big move, fingertip roll. <laughs> Look at nice job, Pacetti at an eight point lead. There's an 8-0 run right now after being tied at 24. And out of bounds. So you have to ask yourself, this game has been so close, Trumper trying to put it into another gear in the second half. They were not able to, and they've gone in an 8-0 run. Inbounds it quickly, balls up, book it. Nice shot by number five, Winslow. It's back to a five-point game. And that's how they will get back into it. Pacetti, no good. Rebounded by Winslow, number five. Almost take it on that long pass. Indian Trail looking for the shot. And they're going to call a drop. Tremper does not like that call thinking that his la their ladies were stationary. That's gonna be a foul, the second foul on number 14. That would be Clements and the 15 foul. And number 24, Williams misses the first shot but makes the second. So it's back to a three point game, 32-29. Tremper up by the tray. They had just been up by eight. Now cut back to three. Tremper inbound. Pacetti. To Clements. Clements puts it up, can't get it. She gets her own rebound, nice job. Kicks it back outside, no good. And they're gonna call that, I believe, on number 20, Carmen. It's gonna be the 16 foul. Watch as she goes around. On that foul, it's gonna be Carmen's third. Not able to take that pass, so Trumper's gonna take advantage of it. Back to Pacetti, three-pointer, NBA! No good. Off the top of the backboard, so they're gonna have the opportunity for Indian Trail to inbound. Peltier is in the game. Just a, a sophomore at six foot two. Number 20, keep an eye on her. They need to put her in the weight room. She could really be something special. Just a sophomore. Peltier with the line. Over to number five, Winslow, top of the key. Kicks it back out and out of bounds, but off of Kenosha Tremper. on that foul, I think they're gonna call that on Indian Trail. Oh, let's watch it. Going up with position. And they're gonna call that a charge. 
It's going to be the third team foul. It's going to be the first against Indian Trail number five, Winslow. Full court press. Coming across. Looking to be able to, to move with the ball. That's number three, Passetti. And a foul. So that's going to be the fourth team foul. It's going to be the second for number 22. That's Kozel. With that, we'll be right back. 32-29. Tremper up by the tray. Timeout. We'll take a commercial. Hupy and Abraham celebrates 50 years of providing great client service. There's a reason why Hupy and Abraham is voted best and rated best every year. Congratulations, Hupy and Abraham, on celebrating 50 years of amazing client services. Here's to those who break the mold, to the few who dare to dream. We see you. We understand you. We are you. Bring your ambition to Gateway and we'll supply the world-class training. Our facilities and programs are state-of-the-art, and our staff are experts in their fields. We're the number one choice for those who want to be a part of something more. Put your ambition into motion at Gateway. Coming out of timeout here, Kenosha Tremper up by three, 32-29. 10-22 left in this one. It has been a good one. Tremper has been up as much as eight, Indian Trail has been as much as eight. Only to have the other team be able to come back. Here we go. Tremper looking the inbound. Able to get the ball. Contact, but number 14, Clements, makes it a five point game, 34-29. Clements, another very good player for this lady, lady Trojan team. Clements on the rebound. Takes it across the timeline, kicks it. Not able to handle the pass. Indian Trail looking the inbound. Does to Cornell. To number 24, Williams. And she's gonna walk with it. So Indian Trail puts a little bit of a full court press on Tremper. Tremper able to inbound it. Now they have to get across the timeline, they do. Good job by number 21, that's Keckerson, to be able to move the ball under the basket, but they weren't able to take advantage of it as they were able to pass, just not make the shot. Five point game, 34-29 as we come up on nine minutes left to play. Johnson, over to number three, Cornell, nothing as that bounced out, or I should say nothing but net, and it's a three-point game. Good job, number 14, Clements. How important that was, back to a five-point game. 36-31, two possessions. Passetti, and good. Seven point game on two great plays by those ladies. Passetti and Clements and a tie up. Great defense on both sides. Timeout, 8.23 left to play. Seven point game, 38-31. Kenosha Tremper, WGTD Sports. We go a long way 
to make sure the all-wheel drive technology available on the Honda Pilot can handle freezing temps and brutal terrain. Why do we go to great lengths to ensure our vehicles can handle these conditions? Because we want you to have our best when facing winter's worst. An SUV engineered to perform almost anywhere, so you can too. Get ready for winter with a great deal on the Honda Pilot. With standard Honda sensing and part of the best SUV brand for 2019 by U.S. News and World Report. And we're back. Seven point game, 38-31, 8.23 left to play. Indian Trail having the opportunity to inbound. Moving the ball around the horn. Top of the key, now to the far side. Johnson with the ball, drives, can't get it to fall. Taken by number 14, Clements. Clements puts it to Vasquez, number two. To number 25, Ignarski, the six foot sophomore. She can't make it. Taken on a, on a quick transition and a foul. That's going to be the seventh team foul and the first for number 23, Williams. And it will put a good shooter, Winslow, at the line. Ball's up and no good. Both these teams having real problems from the free throw line. There we go, six point game, back to a two possession game. That's by Winslow, looking to inbound it. And a foul. So that's going to be the fourth team foul, the first on number 12, Stouffer. Quickly now, across the line. And number 14, Clemson, thought she was fouled. Didn't, uh, Clem, Clements, didn't happen though. And no good, that's a travel. So they're gonna turn it over. Gordon with the ball. And out of bounds. 38-32, good shot. By the way, I should tell everybody, our producer director, Troy McDonald, does a great job. Abigail Wilentowski, court camera. Natalie Lothar, up top camera. Thank you so much, they do a great job. I'm Bob Haggerty, and uh, couldn't get on the air if it wasn't for those folks. And good from Vasquez. Five foot three inches, smallest lady on the court. And she's able to put that one in and back to an eight point game at 40-32. Seven minutes left to play and that's a travel. <laughs> to Indian Trail. Having some players come out. Full court press. Kazanowski puts it over to Vasquez. Back to Kazanowski. Over to Gordon. To Kazanowski, top of the key. Moving the ball well. Vasquez looking, Kazanowski. Nothing happened, Kazanowski gets her own rebound, can't put it up, and a nice defensive board from Indian Trail. Johnson taking that. Now to number 22, Kozell, and she's fouled. That's the eighth team foul. See who they're gonna have that against. It's gonna be the second foul for number 23, Williams. Eighth team foul, it's gonna put Indian Trail to the line, balls up, and no good. 
Number 22, Kozel, with that miss. As I said, they've had just an atrocious time, both these teams, from the charity strike. And good. So seven point game, 40-33, again full court press. Vasquez takes it across the timeline, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Indian Trail number 14, Jacobson. Now Indian Trail moving, number 10, Palmatier. And a steal by Vasquez. Can't get it to fall. And they're gonna say that number 14, Clements moved on a travel. Six minutes left to play, 40-33. Johnson puts it off, and that's gonna be another foul. I don't know if it's gonna be on Clements. It's gonna be the third personal for number 23. That's gonna be Williams, ninth team foul and it's going to send number 22, Kozil, to the line once again. She was one for two the last time she went up there. No good. It was a one and one, so nothing there. Indian Trail trying to get the ball back. Tremper up by seven. Number three, Pacetti fighting. As 23, Williams. She's content to kick it back out. Clements, lot of contact and draws the foul. Watch the contact here. Right there, but before it, I wish we had another 10 seconds because that girl was mugged. Absolute contact. Ball up and good, nothing but net out of Clements. Brooke Clements, the junior, five foot 11. She's had a good game. Eight point lead, 41-33. Could go to nine, that would be the largest lead of the night for either team. 5.09 left to play. Clements. No good. And Clements is gonna tie it up. Jump ball. Jump ball, Indian Trail keeps possession. Eight-point lead. And a foul. That's gonna be the tenth. Now double bonus. It's gonna be the third for Clements. And it's going to send number 30, that's Johnson, to the line. She's a good one. Ball's up. And gets that one to fall. Back to a seven-point game. Could make it six. That's a two-possession game with five minutes left to play. Timeout. Five minutes left to play. 41-34. Trumper may up, be up by seven. But Indian Trail at the line. We'll be right back. We at Festival Foods promise to be a good neighbor. We promise to provide for your family with food that's unequaled in quality, to bring you grade A produce, top grade meat and seafood, and a better selection of products at a better price. We promise to deliver freshness and wholesomeness daily, to serve this community and support Wisconsin in everything we do. Festival Foods, we're happy to be here. It's one thing to be voted best. 
It's entirely another to be voted best year after year after year after year. Hupy and Abraham, they mean business. 800-800-5678. Seven point lead, Kenosha Tremper. Five minutes left to play. Coming out of the timeout. Johnson at the line. This is the second of a one and of a double bonus. Ball's up, and good, nothing but net. Six point game, now two possessions, 41-35. Kenosha Tremper inbounds on a full court press. Over to Pacetti, near side. Hounded by number three, that's Cornell, out of bounds. Number five for Indian Trail, Winslow just couldn't get it to drop. She took it from corner to corner. Just not able to get it to drop tonight. We've seen a lot of that steal by Cornell. Cornell puts it up. Book it. Four point game, 41-37. Tremper up by four. Foul. See, it's going to be on Indian Trail, and it's going to be the third foul for number three, Cornell. And it's going to put Tremper at the line. I believe Pacetti is going to be shooting. And she is. Big arc, that's short. Rebounded to the floor and taken away by Tremper. Tremper doing a good job, a lot of effort. As now I believe that's 23 Williams, and it is. Kicks it to Pacetti. Over and back as she dribbled it. Over and back. Looking the inbound it. Four point game. A lot of time, four minutes. Can't make it fall, out of bounds. Tremper ball. Watch this coming out and down. Both girls going on to the court. Very physical game. And a foul. So now we're looking at foul and shoot, putting Clements at the line. It's a one and one, eighth foul, the fourth for number 30. That's Johnson, puts Clenitz to the line. Shoots left-handed, balls up, and that's good. Back to that five-point lead. She, everything she does will keep it a two-possession game. Balls up, book it. Six-point game, 43-37, 350 left to play. Tremper up by six. Near side, big defense from Tremper. Good job moving into the paint. Johnson up, no good, but draws the foul. Watch inside, good job into the paint. 
Johnson going up, drawing the foul. That's going to be the third foul on number 32, Jankowski. Already in double bonus. In and out. Johnson and Indian Trail overall. Problems from the stripe. Can make it a five-point game. And no. Rebounded Tremper. A little bit of a press. Now they're going to pull out of it. Vasquez, top of the key. Kicks it on to the outside. And out of bounds. Tremper number 32, Jankowski, just can't get the pass where it needs to go. And out of bounds. Indian Trail's going to inbound it. Six point game. Almost a loss. Able to keep it. Near side. Kicks it back. Drives. Drew the foul. Drew the foul, but was not able to watch. Good job. Watch her drive. Right there. That is on Clements. It's going to be her fourth, and it'll put number 24, Williams, at the line. Ball's up. No good. Six-point lead, 43-37. And draws the foul. Vasquez, no. I should say that that is Pacetti. Five foot four inches living in the land of the Giants. Took a hit there. Watch Pacetti take it right there. Pacetti at the line. Ball's up, big arc, no good. Those two were big because it could have taken it to a three possession game. Can't happen now. Yes, it can. This can take it. It can be a seven point game. Book it. Pacetti takes it to a three possession game. 44-37. That's big. 2.36 left to play. Ball out of bounds. So at some point here, they're going to have to start to foul and shoot. Indian Trail with the ball. Drives and drew the foul. And if so, I believe that's five on Clements. If it's on Clements, she's done. That's it. Brooke Clements, number five. You're out of here. Brooke Clements with her fifth foul. And she's done. Good game for that young lady. She does not like that call as she stalks the sideline. Coach says good game. Ball's up and good. Williams making number one. Can take this to a five-point game now. Book it. Five-point game, 44-39, 2.26 left to play, and Clements on the bench. She fouled out. And a, what a shot! And a foul! What, watch this. Well, you saw it come in.
Kazanowski, what a shot by that young lady. Ball and good, three point play. Clements coming off the bench, jumping up and down. Timeout. Tremper up by eight, 47 39. WGTD Sports will be right back. I see no defeat. No defeat. I have the best. In me. In me. So I require the best. Warriors like us. We make our own. We make our own destiny. We make our own destiny. We push back in the face of adversity. We turn up the heat. Is it in you too? Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. Make your move. We're back, WGTD Sports, 47-39, Trimper up by eight. This has been a good one. And if you missed that last shot, shame on you. Go back in the archive at uh, the 217 point of the uh, left in the last period in the second half. What a shot by number 40, Ken Kazanowski. Drawing the foul, turning it into a three-point play and an eight-point lead. Indian Trail comes across the line, number five, Winslow, to number 24, Williams. Back and good. Don't expect that Indian Trail is gonna back away here. Let me tell you, we go inside two minutes and it's back to that five-point game, 47-42. Tremper up by the nickel. They kick it back out, that's Pacetti. Pacetti drives, it's gonna kick it out to 22. And Gordon, she can't make anything happen, turn around, Johnson. Gonna kick it from the outside. No three point, but Gordon with the board. 124. To Pacetti, what a shot, and a foul. <laughs> Coach having some words for number 22, Gordon. That was kind of an over the back, over your head pass. And they just happened to have somebody there. <laughs> Pacetti at the line. Six point, five point game, 47-42. Big arc, no good. Pacetti is going to have another opportunity. Balls up, book it, six point game, 48-42. One seventeen left to play, quickly now. Indian Trail, Johnson, six point game. Timeout. Four point game, 48 44. 109 left to play. Timeout. Don't go anywhere, WGTD Sports. If something's important to you, wouldn't you wanna give those important somethings Culligan water? For Culligan can make water softer and cleaner. Culligan water makes green beans green beanier. Culligan reduces most toxic -y toxins and makes tastier drinks you put rocks in. Culligan even improves the water you eat. Culligan water is a perfect this little guy treat. Washers for dishes, washers for clothes, give the Culligan treatment to those. The list goes on, but you get the point, sorta. You could give your people Culligan water.
We're back, 48-44, four point game. 109 left to play. Coming out of a timeout, Tremper with the ball. Gordon will look to inbound it. She's able to. So, and the foul. So now we're in a, fo a foul and shoot situation. That's gonna be the third on number 24, Williams. And it's going to send number 40, Gazingowski, to the line. Ball's up, no good. Double bonus, both teams with at least 10 fouls. Brooke Clements fouling out for Tremper. Ball's up, no good. Rebounded Johnson for Indian Trail. She's a good one. Passes it over. Under a minute left. Passetti with the ball and the foul. Passetti doing a great job on defense, taking the ball. Big turnover, and she's gonna go to the stripe. Four point game, 48-44. Pacetti, no. You see the frustration because this girl shoots very, very well. Young lady is Miss Automatic as she gets a little smile on her face. You can do that when you're up by four, not when you're down. Balls up, book it. Five point game, 49-44. Inbound quickly for Indian Trail. To Johnson. They can't be picky. They're down by the nickel. Johnson can't get it to fall. Out of bounds. Five point game, 49-44. 37 seconds left to play. It's been a good one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Certainly enjoyed doing this one. Rebound, big rebound by Gordon. Ball given to Pacetti and draws the foul. And Pacetti turns around and goes, well, it's about time. Nothing but net. Six points. They can take it to a three-possession game. That's what you need, really, to put this one away with 31 seconds left. Ball's up. Book it. There we go. 51-44. Tremper up by seven. Rebound. And a foul. Big contact with Vasquez. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a good game. 18 and a half seconds left. Seven point lead, Tremper. 51 44 on the technical. Vasquez, no good. 
That last foul was a little on the aggressive side. Ball's up. No good. 0 for 2 from the line. So Tremper's going to get the ball out of the technical. Gordon comes out to inbound. This is a matter of what the last score will be. Seven-point lead, 51-44, three possessions. And still playing foul and shoot is Indian Trail. They're not going to give it up yet. Kazanowski going to the line. She's had a good game. No good. Ball's up. That one's good, and it makes it an eight-point game, 52-47. Rebounded by Tremper, and a foul. Indian Trail up by eight, going back to the line. Kazanowski at the line one more time. Eight has been the largest lead of the night. Make it nine. Kazanowski, nice shot. One for the two, nine point lead. I said largest lead of the night for either team. They had both been up by eight. And that's it. Book it here from the Tremper Gymnasium, Kenosha, Wisconsin, as Tremper takes the lead in middle, really the middle of the uh, second half. Didn't re relinquish it after that, winning by nine, 53 to 44, WGTD Sports. So this is what's going to happen. We have a special presentation for Coach Rod Gross. He had been the ladies head coach for 22 years. And uh, they're going to be doing a nice presentation. I hope to talk to him. That may be on a different feed. Not sure yet. And then the boys game will also be on a different feed. What that means is you're going to look for the next grouping of video that will be offered. So that's a good one. Tremper up by nine. So the Lady Trojans being called back out onto the court. That's nice. All of these ladies, I believe, most of them worked with Coach Gross. His daughters are back, the twins, as well as his son. You'll see his son playing for Kenosha Tremper in a little bit. The twins... Another daughter and son, the Gross family. Jane, his wife, fantastic athletes, all of them. So they're explaining that he had been a, 
a coach here for 22 years. One of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet. A great interview. Coach Gross always willing to give you the truth, whether you like it or not. He's going to speak his mind. A lot of integrity. His wife, Jane, went a uh, volleyball scholarship. It was either lacrosse or Eau Claire. Some of his assistants, assistant coaches coming out. Team signed basketball. Very nice. A lot of people standing for the coach. Like I said, very well liked, outstanding coach. We had the opportunity numerous times to be able to see him in big games and how he dealt with his, uh, his, his ladies during that time. Coach Bassetti giving him a hug. Everybody coming up. Turning around here, Coach. Well, congratulations, Coach Rod Gross. Uh, 22 years, is that my understanding? Yeah, 22 years in the Unified and a uh, total of 29 overall. Congratulations. Thank you. This is going to be hard. Name your number one. What, what was the biggest thing you did? What was the biggest thing that you, that, that, that took place while you were coaching? You know, there's, there's so many things, it's hard to reflect back on 29 years. 
you know, I always took pleasure in, in seeing the development of kids, seeing the development of, you know, young kids, you know, developing into the, their high school careers and, and how well they did in school. We had great kids throughout the years. I had great people to work with. Um, I've, I've coached a lot of great athletes. You know, with me being with the girls program for so long, there's obviously a few names that stick out. Sabetic. I'd have to mention Lindsay Sabetic, um, Nicole Drummond. Sure. Omira Martinez. Yep. Um, you know, more recently, Janelle Kyra, Ayana Esther. Um, and I'm, I'm probably missing a few in between there, obviously, but obviously those names stick out. Talk about coaching your girls. Because yeah. you had, you know, I'll... I'll I used to give you a hard time and say, what's Thanksgiving dinner like at your house? Uh, it's an extraordinary opportunity you had. It is, and I've, I've been very fortunate that way uh, to, see, to see my girls go through their high school careers and be able to coach them and be with them every day after school in the gym and practice game nights. Then, like you said, going home and, and coaching even a little bit more. Um, whether they wanted to hear Dad's voice or not, I was there to give it to them. So... You know, those are things that highlight my career, having my daughters in the program, obviously, things that I'm never going to forget, things that I can take with me. Uh, so it's, it's been very worthwhile. Now what? What's next for Rod Gross? <laughs> well, right now, I'm just, I'm enjoying being a dad, being a fan, having my son Jake play in his last year here at Tremper High School. Um, if he continues to play, you know, beyond high school, uh, that would be wonderful for us to take, you know, part of that as well. Yeah, but other than that, we'll see. I'm, I, I don't completely close the door. The door is always left a little bit open. We'll see what opportunities might be there in the future. But right now, I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm being a dad, and I'm being a fan. Congratulations again. Much right. appreciated. Thank you. Thank you all the times. I, I, I was saying the one thing we always knew is that you'd give us an honest interview, and that's all you can ever ask for, and it is greatly appreciated. Well, thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. It. We'll be right back. Uh, remember, boys are to come. We'll be back. WGTD Sports.